My aim is to make Mamamboga a better seen job because currently the job is associated with illiteracy and poverty when it should be a respected job because you know no one can live without food, no one can live without fresh produce, without vegetables. These women are essential, they are drivers in the economy, so they should really not be seen as uh, poor people or illiterate people. <laughs> she wants us to go to the office. <laughs> Mama Mboga wants to change the narrative, you know. We want young girls to inspire to be Mama Mbogas. Hi, I'm Jacinta. I'm a farmer from Nakuru County. I am also known as Mama Mboga on social media platforms. I use my influence on social media to help raise awareness on how to farm as a young person, how to grow vegetables, how to market them, and how to benefit and make a career out of agriculture as a whole. Mamamboga literally translates to mother of vegetables, but in Kenya it means women vendors who retail fresh produce from stalls, from kiosks, from shops to consumers. Many small-scale farmers, large-scale farmers who focus on the traditional aspect of farming, they still do it mainly for consumption and they do it without proper record keeping, without the necessary information. They don't use the best equipment, tools, techniques. Uh, we want to change that by providing empowerment or awareness such that these farmers they understand how to run a farm as a business and not just as a way to grow food for consumption, something can eat just the year round. <laughs> just plant it and you place it. Growing up, I, I really did not want to be a farmer because first thing, in primary school we used to be told, you know, if you don't study well, if you don't get the proper marks, you're going to become a farmer. And that was like a really, it was the end of the negative end of the spectrum where you're being told that if you become a farmer, you're a loser in society, you know, you're poor and everything. But then as I grew up uh, after high school, I followed my dad to the farm. I learned the, the patience, the, the discipline that comes with agriculture. And I think it changed me as a person, so I came to love it more. And I really want to just to share this with the whole world. Without <laughs> Margaret, Mamma, Tigina. Eh, on a toilet, a magadico. Margaret, Mamma, get the Canadian. You tell what ye or the attack get a good or a kilo. You call Manuqueva. Most of these are traditional Mamambogas. They believe that you know young girls should not sell vegetables. It's a job that's not for uneducated women, which is really not the thing that we should be thinking because. This is a country where we, we have unemployment levels and we can't really afford to, to classify jobs as such. The older generation, we're teaching them to accept this as, as a career. If they are benefiting from this, they're building houses, they're buying land, they're buying cars from it, you know, why can't we as the younger generation also benefit from it? I think the average age for a farmer in Kenya is 60 years, which is very, very old. Most of these 
young generation still think that agriculture should be you know, the thing that your parents do when they retire, when you don't have a job, which should not be the case. The young generation understands the language of money. So if you bring to them the, the prospect of you know, agribusiness and not just agriculture as a hobby or something you do over the holidays, if you introduce the aspect of money, it doesn't always have to be an office giving you the money. You don't have to do to be smart all the time. Sometimes just getting a little dirty could get you to the place where you want to be. Welcome to Mamamboga Farm. This is where we teach uh, young people how to farm, you know, the techniques and how to do it properly. I'm going to explain a little about the weeding process. Uh, this involves taking out the weeds so that they don't compete with your crops for the nutrient. So one of the ways you can do it is by pulling by hand like this, the big ones. And then you can alternatively use a small, a small hoe because you don't need a big one. A big one will end up cutting up your crops and then you can shallowly dig and cut the roots off of the weed and then your farm can also look clean while you also eliminate the competition at the same time. I created a separate account called Mamamboga KE so I can you know, focus on how to you know, teach women and young girls that you know, agriculture is not just digging and you know, getting dirty and you know, wearing gumboots. <laughs> if that's not a thing for you, there are many other ways that you can benefit from agriculture. The whole value chain is really long. You know? If you don't want to get into the farm, you can practice value addition, do online sales, you know, where you buy from the market and you can sell to other people. If you tell people they can earn this much by doing something like this, they, they come to your DMs and ask you, oh really, you did this, how can I also do the same? And it really helps me get through to, to girls because, you know, they're always on social media and this is one way to to help them understand more about agriculture. Women are known as caregivers, so it's not hard to see why most of them are attracted to gardening, you know, having a little home garden, having a shamba where they can plant some vegetables for the family. Using Mamamboga, we have uh, monthly sessions, both online and offline, where we bring these women together. You know, they are already together in the chamas that they have, you know, the merry-go-rounds where they meet to contribute money. Because they already have these sessions where they talk finances, we bring agricultural experts, we bring business experts to show them how to better their business, how to better their farms, their gardens, to maximize the profits they get and the produce that they can have from a very small portion of land. The mother, after having all these vegetables on her shamba, is going to provide the family. Mm. The greatest thing we want to do is to empower our girls and the women who are not working because they are just there sitting and doing nothing and they are crying over every time that there is no money. So we want to show them that we can. Mama Boga is, is, is something that can make them have a life that anyone wished. So this is women empowerment and we are going to do something to do with the poverty eradication and the girl child is going to go somewhere far. Whatever you get from there is yours. When you sell it, I think food security. At first it was good, but we let Lungana and Jacinta at least have a lot of vitamins, we let them plant vitamins, we let them plant distance alafu ku transplant vitu na ku exchange like sana nikipanda mahindi next nafa nipande kitu ingine juu ya minerals and stuff na hizo sema nime benefit sana juu at least kuna vitu nime learn zenye siku anajua kayo story ya ku exchange siju watu watu ku transplant siku anajua but sayi najua ni think interest ndo ina depend sasa 
in the next months or years nikuwe nikuwe nime grow ile as in ikifike hiyo miaka ingine nikuwe ni, ni na shamba kubwa nipande niweke wanyama wengi eh yeah, nikuwe business lady entrepreneur vitu alafu ni, nianze kufunza watu wenye wajui na wenye wako interested sana sana ma youth nianze kuwafunza vile kama ni mabeginners unawafunza vile wataanza hivyo hivyo wa start small eh if you have women around you who are interested in agriculture you should not just you know tell them to go look nice make themselves to for an office job support them in farm you know give them land give them the tools give them the platforms empower them to start let them have their stalls you know give them the uniform give them capital this is something that is not just job creation opportunity it's one way where you can access green things faster and easier so instead of you know looking down towards the women because they're doing what we consider an informal job we should instead elevate them and really respect them for the big job that they're doing.